Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girlfriend Ilungu and we are Fun and Jesse. Jesse. So today we're gonna do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys I want to say thank you for everyone out there who's been subscribing guys. It's really amazing. Super super dope and today we're gonna do a reaction that was suggested by uh, somebody in the comment section below. He said that we should go react to Christianity, Islam, Christianity, Judaism. This And this one is from um, Ahmed Didat. Yeah, so without any إذ قال موسى لقومه يا قوم لم تؤذونني وقد تعلمون أني رسول الله إليكم فلما زاغوا أزاغ الله قلوبهم والله لا يهدي القوم الفاسقين وإذ قال عيسى بن مريم يا بني إسرائيل إني رسول الله إليكم فلما جاء صدقا لما بين يدي من التوراة ومبشرا برسول يأتي من بعد اسمه أحمد فلما جاءهم بالبينات قالوا هذا سحر مبين فمن أظلم ممن افترى على الله الكذب وهو يدعى إلى الإسلام والله لا يهدي القوم الفاسقين فمن أظلم ممن افترى على الله الكذب وهو يدعى إلى الإسلام والله لا والله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين يريدون ليطفئوا نور الله بأفواههم والله متم نوره ولو كره الكافرون والذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون صدق الله العظيم. Dear brothers and sisters. Believe me, I am equally a guest like yourselves in this historic meeting, this being the first visit of Brother Ahmad Didat to Geneva. Three days ago, I received by post an invitation. No wonder the hall is not full. It should have been more than full, but many do not know that Brother Ahmed that is in Geneva. The brother is Islam and Christianity. Brother Ahmed that I think most of you have known of him, about him, an outstanding scholar, both in Quran and in the Bible of international standing. We would have liked very much this occasion to be in the shape of a dialogue for the sense of fairness that should have perfected the occasion. But our 
good-hearted brothers who try their best to organize this meeting and give it to, to understand, tried, but the offer was declined. So, we shall have the pleasure of listening to Brother Ahmed Idat for 45 minutes, one hour, less more. It all depends on the spiritual report to you and him. And after that, there will be enough occasion for questions and answers pertaining to the subject. Alhamdulillahi wada. Wa salatu wa salamu ala man la nabi ba'da. Allahumma ya mufatih al-abwaab, wa ya musabib al-asbaab, wa ya dalil al-ha'irin. Tawakkaltu alayka ya rabb al-alameen. Wa ufawidu amri lallah, inna allaha basiru bil-ibad. Awuzu billahi min al-shaytani al-rajim. Bismillahi al-rahmani al-rahim. Inda allah, inna al-dina, inda allah al-islam. Sadaq Allah. Mr. Chairman and brethren, the subject as has been advertised for this evening's discussion is Christianity and Islam. I think we would rather have it as Judaism, Christianity and Islam because there is a definite affinity between these three great Semitic faiths. See, the religions of the world can easily be divided into two major groups. One group of religions called the Aryan religions and the other group of religions, the Semitic religions. Among the Aryan religions, I would consider Hinduism, Buddhism, and Zoroastrianism. This is of the Aryan group. The Semitic, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The unity of these three faiths consists in the unity of God. You see, in the fundamentals of the teachings of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, may the peace of God be upon them all, there is not an iota of difference. I said in the fundamentals of the teachings of Moses, Jesus and Muhammad. I didn't say in the teachings of Judaism, Christianity and Islam. Mark my words. Now in the fundamentals of the teachings of these prophets, I said there is not an iota of difference. Between the religious groupings, there are many differences. When I say there is no difference in the fundamentals, I mean like, for example, the first commandment. The very first commandment as given by God Almighty to the Holy Prophet Moses was in the Hebrew language, Shama Israelu Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad, which means, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. The first commandment. Some 1,350 years after Moses, a learned man of the Jews called a scribe in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 12, verse 29, this learned man of the Jews comes to Jesus and questions him. He said, Master, in the Hebrew language, Rabbi, Maulana, learned man, Sheikh, Master, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answers and says unto him, in the Hebrew language, Shama Israelu Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. He repeated word for word what was given by Moses 1300 years before, without the change of a dot. That in the fundamentals of religion, in the fundamentals of belief or faith, there is no change. He confirms the very words given by Moses. Some 600 years after Jesus, 
a Christian deputation comes to the Holy Prophet Muhammad in Medina. And they were having a dialogue for three days and three nights in the Masjid al Nabawi, the Mosque of the Prophet. This Mosque of the Prophet is in no way to be compared to our Islamic center, the Mosque, the beautiful Mosque here in Geneva. This must have been mud walls, thatch roof, and plastered with mud on the floor, maybe with grass mat or palm leaf fiber mat. This Christian deputation was accommodated in the mosque. They slept in the mosque, they ate in the mosque, they discussed in the mosque for three days and three nights. During the course of this discussion, this dialogue, the spokesman for the Christian poses the question. He said, all right, all right, now tell us, O Muhammad, among so many other things, says, tell us now, what is your concept of God? And the Holy Prophet Muhammad is made to say, Qul huwallahu ahad, say, he is God the one and only. He said, ahad, one and only. Jesus said, ikhad, meaning one and only. Moses said, ikhad, meaning one and only. What is the difference? It's the same word meaning the same thing. Ahad and ikhad, ahad in Hebrew, yeah, in Arabic means one. Ikhad in Hebrew means one. And the difference between these two words is only the pronunciation. If, I, if the blackboard was any nearer, if I had uh, foresight, I would have told them to bring the blackboard nearer. I don't want it now. And if I had a uh, chalk, I would write ahad. Alif ha da. Ahad in Arabic, meaning one and only. And to make it ikhad, I, on the ha, I put a dot. That becomes ha. Ha becomes ha just by putting a dot. That is in the writing, calligraphy. But as far as the meaning is concerned, the word is concerned, it means one and the same thing. That God Almighty is the one and only being that there is. So, my statement that in the fundamentals of the teachings of Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, there is not an iota of difference. And according to the Muslim belief, there is no such thing as Judaism, Christianity and Islam. It is only Islam. In the verse I read to you from the Holy Quran, God Almighty says, Inna dina in the Allah al-Islam. So most certainly the religion that is acceptable in the sight of God is Islam. Then what about Judaism? What about Christianity? Don't they exist? Are there no such faiths as Judaism and Christianity? I said yes, not by name. These names didn't exist. You see, this word Judaism, where does it come from? You ask the Jew, the learned man of the Jew, ask him, where does this word Judaism originate? Is it in your Bible, the Bible of the Jews, the Old Testament, the Old Testament, in this Christian Bible called the Holy Bible, is divided into two parts called the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is the Bible of the Jews. Now, in this Old Testament, there are the first five books of this Old Testament called Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And these are supposed to be the Torah. We say Torah. The Jew says Torah. Torah means the law. These five, first five books. This is the fundamental, the basis of the teachings of Moses. Torah, Torah. Is this word Judaism to be found in the Torah? He says, no, it's not there. Is it in the Talmud? He says, no, it's not there. Is it in the Mithna? He says, no, it's not there. Then where did you get it? Where did you get this term Judaism from? Did Moses hear this word Judaism? He says, no, you never heard the term Judaism. If Moses was alive today, if we can meet him personally, maybe in the hereafter, and if he had the opportunity of questioning him, he said, Oh Moses, tell us, what, is, what was your religion? What is the name of your religion that you were teaching? I do not expect him to say Judaism. Because the poor man, he never heard the word. He never heard the word Judaism in his life. What do I expect him to say is, said, my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. A beautiful description. A lengthy description for the religion which he taught. Now one word for that in the Arabic language is 
Um, I like it the way he just broke it down to uh, those religions, you know, like the uh, uh, the Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and then on the other hand, there was the Buddhism, Hinduism, and um, Rest of Syrian or something like that. I don't know what the name that is, but um, I mean, there's a lot to learn. And uh, what I mean, according to what I've just learned here, I mean, there's no much differences when it comes to um, the stories that have been told told in this in these books. I mean, they can't relate to each other. But now, the differences are in uh, I think names. Also, uh, Judaism. There's the Old Testament, that the Bible of the Judaism, uh, and then now Christianity. They combine all together. And then Islam, they have their own Bible, the Quran. So, um, I mean, what he's trying to say is that um, Islam is the only religion that yeah, has been left, or maybe that should be looked into compared to the other ones or something. That's how I feel like he, he was trying to go into. Because, I mean, I don't know, if, if we go back in time, if we ask the, our ancestors which religion were you, or maybe which religion did, are you um, into, I'm not sure they're going to say the religion that they, they, they are, they're that here now. now. Yeah, you know. Probably they had their own religion, which is kind of related to Islam and maybe Christianity, but they had a different name. I don't know. Or maybe they didn't even have a religion. They just believed in something else. You know, maybe they just believed that, hey, you know, um, he believed that the animals here, I mean, the, 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 the law of nature, you know, and you just believe when you die, you... You come in as a the, the reincarnation and all those they believe in the constellation the stars the cosmic energy and all those things so anyway such a good uh, video what do you think uh, from this what I'm getting is that all three that were mentioned Christianity Islam Judaism all have the Old Testament in common oh, yeah. and the stories and um they then that should say something do you understand if we're going to share something in common or people out there are sharing something in common so why not believe what something else is going to say it's like i was explaining in one of my videos it's like having book one book two and book three of something or like having like editions or edition one two three four yeah so um I don't know, you turned me off my point. Um, you said like having book one, book two. Yeah, at the end of the day, I guess what rises above these different religions is um, the one God that's being spoken about. It's like that's the most fundamental, most basic thing, the most common of all these three. And You know, at, at the end of the day, we, we can be having all these discussions and whatnot. But again, when you look at the the basis of the or the foundation, the fundamentals and all those kind of stuff, you, you realize that at the end of the day, um, we all go back to the source, you know. At the end of the day, there is one God that we worship. We have that common understanding regarding. But then, what's the source you know? of religion? Exactly. So because now, because this also this video is also confirming to us that different religions have come at different times. I remember what yeah. I did say. Yes. First, we started with this, then this, then that. Then now this has been. I said Islam is the last uh, religion. To, mm -hmm. You know. So, I don't know. It's can be far-fetched it can be we don't know what religion is going to come in next you know there's plenty that have come in yeah just not as popular there's so there's religion of oneness which and then now they're even talking about the ai you know the singularity so it's too much to compromise 
or comprehend or I mean so I think um, one day one way or the other we will realize that there's just that one religion or maybe not even a religion maybe something's just gonna come and uh, shine some light on us and we, we're gonna see uh, the actual um, source and from there that's when you, you'll be able to now decode where you you, you you not even decode I mean from there that's when you're gonna um, believe really understand. yes understand who you are and what you are but again you know Islam is one of the religions that have um, a high number of people who are converting to you know, so again what does that even mean what does that even say does it say that it's, it's, the, it's the religion to go by you know you let us know in the comment section below what do you think yeah, yeah. all right if there's something else you guys would love us to react to let us know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video deuces